Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing today? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy, PayHip, and Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges that will help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for that next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to budget and save for week three and week four of August. And this video is going to be super, super simple because I, I, I don't have very many uh, savings challenges to, to save with this for these last two weeks. Um, I am wanting to finish off with my steampunk cogs and gears uh, album. And so I'm going to be dumping a lot of money into this album. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. So again, we are going to be working on August week three and August week four, which also happens to be uh, week 34 and week 35 for the year. So that's taking um, for week 34, August 19th through the 25th. And then for week four, also week 35, we'll ta be taking it from August 26th through September 2nd. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and put these towards the back where they belong. So then we can actually get started on our savings challenges. So I have not cashed stuff for week one or week two of August. So what I plan to do is when I'm done with this video, and we get officially to the end of the week, I will be cash stuffing the entire month of August. So uh, we'll have four weeks to stuff, which that video will go by super quickly um, in comparison to actually like figuring out the budget of how much we need to save. So that video shouldn't be too long. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of the coins over here. We'll do the save the change challenge first. I have a bunch of change in my purse uh, that I am just going to put towards the uh, towards the challenges um, in the following weeks. But this is what I have in front of me. So these are uh, this is the change that we're going to be doing um, in today's video. Okay, so I'm just getting all of the quarters together so then we can figure out our dollars. This is a Susan B. Anthony. This one is supposed to go over here. It's it's already been accounted for. So. Um, just give me a moment. So we have $3 so far in quarters. We have been getting a lot of quarters lately. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm not complaining about it. Super happy about all the quarters. Okay, so let's see. We have there. That one's a quarter. Okay, here's another dollar there. Okay, so... So I can count the change here. We have one, two, three, four, five dollars. Let me go ahead and stack these quarters here to give me a little more room to work with. We'll just put them right down here towards the base of the paper down there. Okay, so now let's figure out all of the coins that I have here. So we have 10, 20. Oh, you know what? Let's let's start we'll start with this one. Here's a quarter. So there's 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and here's another dollar. Okay, right there. All right. So we have six dollars. So let's go ahead and put six dollars because I don't think that's gonna change. All right, so we have uh five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So 645 is how much we have saved for the last two weeks. Um, to be honest, I don't even know where this change came, came from. It may have been from my purse earlier before I accumulated more change. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and fill in the cells. So I need four quarters to go there to make it, uh, to fill in that cell. And then we need five to fill in that cell there. 
and then we need another five. We now have a complete roll ready. And then we have another one here, five more quarters, and then we have two extras, which is fine. All right, dimes, let's do dimes. So we have two and then three more. That's five to fill in that cell. And then we only have four, that's fine. All right, and then for nickels, I need one more there to fill that cell. And then we only have four. And then it looks like we get to roll pennies as well. So we have four, I'm sorry, three, two more makes it a complete roll ready. And now we can go ahead and start a whole new roll. So we have five and then we have five there. Oh, come on. There. Uh, eh, come on. Did I do too many? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I put an extra penny in there. Oopsies. Okay, so here is five there. And then we have five there and then three. Okay, perfect. All right, so there we go. We are all set. Let's go ahead and write that down on the uh, challenge itself. So 645. Ooh, look at that. So close to the one to 649 from the previous week. Okay, so then that takes care of the save the change challenge. All right, now we have the on my way to 10,000 subscribers. Um, I have not yet made it to 8,530. In fact, let's go ahead and check where I am at right now. Let's do a quick little refresher. And I am currently at 8,525. So I have not really jumped a whole lot. So only five subscribers since this last little bubble here. So no savings on this challenge channel on this challenge <laughs> if you are new to this channel and you would like to help me on my way to reaching the first uh milestone of 9000 uh subscribers that would be absolutely fantastic and we will reach 10000 um, sooner than hopefully later. So that's the kind of the the milestone that I'm really trying to reach is the 10000 um, so yeah. So anyways, um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and, uh, help me out, help a girl out. <laughs> All right. So that is that challenge. No savings on that one. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do roll the dice. I have my two dice here. Let's go ahead and roll and see how much I need to budget and save for. Wow. I have really been liking the six and the five lately. This is now the third week in a row that I've, I've, uh, rolled <laughs> 11. So that's how much I need to save is $11. All right, let's go ahead and roll again. Oh, you know what? Duh. Let me back up over to this one really quick. Save the change. Um, we're putting zero for week 35. All right, because I combined the change for week 34 and week 35. Okay, so now week 35 on this one. And we have seven, we have seven, a five and a two. So we broke the mold on that one. Okay, perfect. So $7 is how much I need to save for week 35. Awesome possum. Let me put my dice away because I don't think I will be needing them. All right, so let's roll the dice. All right, so now that we are on week 34 and week 35, for week 34, I need to save $34 with the 52-week money savings challenge, or I'm trying to save $1,378 for the year. And so week 34 is $34. For week 35, I need to save $35. So that is this challenge for the 52 week savings challenge. All right, now we have our tracker. See, super easy. I told you it was gonna go by really super fast. <laughs> so, okay, so for the 52 week savings challenge, again, we said for uh, week 34, it was going to be $34. And then for week 35 was going to be $35. Okay. And then we had, roll the dice, so for week 34, 
it was $11. And then for week 35, it was $7. So that takes care of that one. All right, save the change. Uh, let's see, week 34, we said it was going to be $6.45 is how much we've already saved. And then it was zero for week 35 because I combined those two weeks. And then for on my way to 10,000 subscribers, have not had 10 extra subscribers since the last one. I've only had five. And so um, until I reach a total of 10 subscribers, more than what I had last, um, right now I have no savings. So we're going to go ahead and zero that one out. Okay, so then that leaves me with the steampunk challenge where I'm going to be dumping a lot of my money into this challenge. So let's see how much I need to put in there. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have going on as far as this challenge goes. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have five more to fill there. And then all of these, I'm hoping to be done with this challenge by the end of the year. And I know that when I get there, we, we are going to have well over $1,500 in this, in, this, uh, in this booklet, which will be absolutely amazing. Okay, so, um, all right. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on. So again, um, our goal is to save $170 every week. Now, if we fall under, when I add all of the challenges up, if we fall under $170, the difference will go into Steampunk. And then we'll put that difference here in the Steampunk to where it'll come up to $170. If it goes over $170, then I need to pull from my budget binder and I will not be uh, saving and putting into the steampunk cogs in year. So hopefully that makes sense to those of you who are new. So, all right, let's go ahead and add these up and see what I come to. So we have 34, 11, 645, and then that's it. So uh, 51, 45. Okay, now in order to get that to 170, 45 because we want an even number. Let's see how much we need to put into steampunk cogs and gears. That's $119 that we need to put in. Okay. And then once we do 170, 45. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here's my marker right here. And we are going to write that in for week number 34 we're putting in 119 dollars okay so once we have 119 dollars we currently have 1036 dollars plus 119 we will have a total of 1155 dollars inside of the album okay so let's go ahead and figure out 119 dollars how am i going to do this Okay, so we're in August, so September, October, November, December, four more months. Hmm, let's see here. We have no more ones to fill in. I don't know if I want to take all of these fives or tens or if I want to write in a hundred over here. It would actually be a hundred and four. 104 over here and then put the difference over on these ones huh yeah you know what i think i'm going to do that i think i'm going to put 104 over here okay um give me just a moment as i figure this out 104 is going to go over here so that's going to be 104 oops 119 104 that's going to be $15. Okay, that's doable. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll put a five, we'll put a $5 bill there and then we'll put a $10 bill there. And then that will be uh, my total of $119. Okay. As we get closer to the end of the year, I think what I will do is instead of putting the lump sum over here in this area, I think I'll probably just start filling in over here on this side. And then I'll just like say like if I had like a hundred, a hundred dollars, I go 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and then a hundred and then plug all of those ones out. 
So, um, so yeah, but right now, since we're still in August going into September, um, we still have September, October, November, December, we still have four months. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to keep on doing that. And, uh, I will, I'll definitely be able to finish this by the end of the year. It's just a matter of how I want to put the bills into the album, <laughs> the process of it all. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this one to the side really quick so we can figure out this week, uh, which is week four of August. So we have $35, $7 and then that's it guys. So we have $42 and we want to get to 170 so that is $128. Okay, so that will be a balance of 100 or a total of 170. Okay, so with that being said, $128 needs to go in. So we will put in 103 is 100 103 over here. Let me go ahead and circle that because that needs to be stuffed. Okay, so 103 will go in there. 103. That means leaves me $25. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to cash stuff there, that five, and then we are going to cash stuff this 20 right there. Awesome. Yeah, it's looking great. It is looking so good. I'm so happy. We still have so many ten dollars that we need to stuff. What the heck is up with that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and write that down here on my register. So week 35 and I needed to stuff 128, $128. So a hundred, uh, 1,155 plus 128. I will have $1,283 in my album at the end of this month when I have it completely stuffed. So with that being said, I also need to write the 128 up here where it says steampunk right there. Okay. So let's just do a quick calculation here. Make sure that I calculated everything up correctly. Steampunk was a hundred. $119. Okay, so 34, 11, 645. Um, why does that look? Okay, 34, 11, 645, and then 119, 1745. Perfect. That's what I said I was supposed to have. Okay, so then we have 35, we have 7, we have 128. And then that's it. That brings me to $170. Perfect. Okay. So now that I'm done figuring out my budget to save from the last two weeks, uh, paychecks. Now what I want to do is I want to get these totals here that I just added up and I'm going to write them both down here on this savings tracker here. So for week three, right here, 170.45, I'll write that amount there. And then for week four is $170. Okay. So now that I have a complete month saved, now what I'm going to do is at the, once I have all of my money stuffed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this tracker. I'm going to add up all of those amounts. And then that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire month of August. Once I'm done doing that every single week, every single month, for an entire year. I will come to this tracker. I will uh, put that amount for August right here, that amount over here. And where it says August here, I will write that amount. And when I'm done doing that every single week, every single month for an entire year, I will add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for 2024. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. That's how I do all of my savings challenges, how I do, how I use all of my savings trackers. If you have any questions about any of my challenges or any of my trackers, um, I have so many more challenges in my Etsy shop. 
So take a look at Tracy Monster Savings and hopefully you find a challenge or challenges in there to help you along with your savings journey. And again, if you like the content on this channel, um, then definitely hit that subscribe button. That way is whenever a, I put up a, uh, oh, and also click that notification bell. That way is whenever I upload a new video to this channel, then you'll be given a notification and know when that video goes live. So anyways, everybody, thank you again so much for being here all the way to the end and being here on my channel, being part of this, uh, this community. I appreciate you guys. And I know all of the others that are in this community, I know that they appreciate you as well. So until next time, you guys stay safe out there because it is a crazy world and it's just getting crazier as the days go by. And oh my goodness. But uh, anyways, so yeah, stay safe out there and enjoy, have fun, and happy savings. Bye, guys. See you soon in the next video.